Hey everybody, Lucas here, and uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video. I've been pretty busy in my personal life, and uh, stuff with the studio and the band has just been keeping me very busy. I haven't had really any time to film something, and if I'm being perfectly honest, I, I actually wasn't too sure what I wanted to work on next for this channel. Um, you know, some videos seem to do really well, some of them not so much. I kind of more so do this just for fun, to work on my video skills uh, and and just to kind of see if anybody uh, comes across these videos and it, and it helps them. And, and I've given I've been given some good responses on, on a few of them. So don't for those of you who have been watching, don't worry, I'm, I haven't I'm not dead. I haven't decided to stop doing stuff. It's just I've been doing a lot of stuff. <laughs> Um, I've been trying to figure out what kind of videos I wanted to do next and I've had a lot of discussions with people around me that I work with uh, on creative projects about what kind of videos um, they would like to see and you know we played around with some ideas on whether or not I should be doing some more music related videos uh, if I should be doing playthroughs if I should be doing, you know, more educational ones about like how to mix and stuff like that. I am going to be doing a few different videos. I have a bit more free time now. In the summer, I'm planning on doing a few more videos, provided I'm, provided everything with my band goes the way that we, we think it's going. If there's something that you'd really like me to cover though, like, you know, maybe you want me to go more in depth with something that I've already covered in a previous video, or maybe there's a piece of gear here that you saw, or you think I have that I should cover then you know please leave a comment because chances are I'll, I'll probably make it into a video I do read every comment um, <laughs> sometimes it's months late uh, but I do try to respond to everything that I see uh, but please keep that up and yeah just uh, you know don't worry I'm I'm hopefully gonna be coming out with more more content soon anyways that that was something that just had to be said that was long overdue and because I know it's probably been oh, months since my last video, which I think was the Ogre Tube Screamer pedal, what, which was which was probably in the summer, to be honest with you, <laughs> if I remember properly. The video I'm doing today is something I've wanted to talk about for a while, but I wanted to experiment enough with the piece of gear in question before making an opinionated video on it. To make a long story short, a buddy of mine was recording an album when he was visiting Vancouver about a year or two ago, and he made an Instagram post about a microphone he was using there. And when I heard the samples of how it sounded, I was like, I need one of these. The microphone was made by a company called Placid Audio based out of the US, and as far as I know, they're made in the US as well. The owner of Placid Audio is actually Mark Pirro, who is the bass player and founding member of an alternative rock band from the 90s called Tripping Daisy. Now I know some people have heard of this microphone company, like it's not like they're a new company that just came out in 2019 or 2018, I believe they've been around for a lot longer than that. And uh, there's, it's amazing actually how many people have used this microphone, like how many famous musicians have used uh, these mics. Like I believe Rush has used them live in some cases too, which is nuts. The microphones are a type of mic called carbon microphones. And here's the worst science lesson you're probably ever going to receive. But basically how they work is there's two capsules um, that contain some carbon granules between them and basically sound passes through them and it causes the granules to shift and that's what captures the sound. It's actually the same kind of microphone technology that I believe the US Army uses with all their communication. Uh, I actually think that the very first microphone uh, that was ever made might have been a carbon microphone. I bought two and I actually had a really cool discussion with Mark Pirro about the microphones and about their uses. And the main reason why I bought these, like, you shouldn't buy these if you're looking for, you know, hey, I need a good vocal mic, or hey, I need something for snare, or, or something like that, because the microphones don't sound quote unquote good. Uh, they're texture microphones or effect microphones. 
So they actually are more good for uh, layering something with these. So, like for example, this stuff is great for industrial. If you want you if you want your voice to sound like it's going through like a radio of some kind, then this is like the perfect mic for that. The main reason why I got them was because I always do effects like that on either vocal or drums or something and usually it's like I have to put a ton of plugins onto it and, and or throw it through a guitar amp or something like that right um, and this kind of just eliminated all that and just made it as natural as possible so if that's something that you're looking for I definitely recommend them but maybe build up your microphone catalog before you buy one of these the two mics I got are the Copperphone Mini and the Copperphone RU80. Now, the RU80, from my understanding, is basically made using Russian communication parts, I believe from the 80s? I could be wrong. If Mark watch, ever watches this video, he can correct me. I can't remember. We had a discussion about it and it was really cool, but I believe that's what it is. Um, I've used both of these on vocals, on drums, uh, on bass, uh, just a few other things on guitar. To be honest with you, it sounds really cool. Um, they both have very, they both have a very different sound. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk into both of them so you can hear the difference between them. Um, I've recorded guitar, bass drums and vocals with these but there actually isn't that much I can currently share because a lot of the music is unreleased but there was a band that I worked with a while ago and I did use it on their vocals and I did use it as a room mic on the drums so I can show some clips of that so you can kind of hear some in a practical application. This is the Copperphone Mini and I'm not that that far from it I'm about maybe two two three inches away and this is just going through an RME 802 interface without any other processing on it. As you can tell, this thing sounds really cool. If I get if I get closer, you can actually hear it break up a bit more. Um, yeah, this thing sounds really cool. This is probably one of my favorite mics. This is the Placid Audio RU80. Um, again, it's just going through my RME 802 interface. Um, it does need phantom power engaged. As you can tell, this thing sounds really, really raunchy. Um, it's cool, uh, it's noisy as hell, but it's, it's really cool if you're really trying to get some crazy effects with this thing. So there you have it. That's the RU80 and the Copperphone Mini by Placid Audio. As you can see, they are pretty cool when it comes to creating a very distorted yet natural sound. Now with the RU80, I will say that you do need phantom power for it, whereas the Copperphone Mini you don't. I'm not sure if the other ones require it, but there's a ton of different models, such as just the standard Copperphone and a few different models called the Resonator. Um, I haven't tried those yet. I do plan on getting them one day. But I would highly recommend these microphones, again, if you're working in industrial or, I mean, even if you're doing sound design, these things might be really cool. If you're doing voiceover work for things like cartoons or movies or whatever, and you need something that sounds like it's coming out of an old radio, these things are perfect for that. I've put the Placid Audio link in the description below, as well as my own links. Um, again, if you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. Hit the notification bell so you stay on top of when I've got something new. I promise I'll be coming out with more stuff soon. And please subscribe because it does help the channel grow. And it does mean a lot for me when people subscribe and send messages. Anyways, this is Lucas signing out and I should hopefully see you guys really soon.